I'm going to be uh, going over how to tell uh, what uh, life experiences somebody comes into with or doesn't come into when they enter this life. And it's based on the name, the name that they're born, the first, middle, last name, or as many letters as they have if they don't have a, a middle name. And the, I'll show you the universal chart. And it's quite easy to do, and it really gives you a lot of information on what the person's good at, not so good at, what, what they would find a challenge, and what they would find very easy by their experience. It's supposed to be a karmic thing, and uh, the attributes are the deficiencies that somebody comes into this life with. But I'll start by showing you the universal chart. And actually, I have it uh, numbered from one through nine. And number one is AJS. Number two is BKT. And what it means is the first letter of the alphabet is an A. The 10th letter, which is also in the one series, is a J. And the 19th letter, which is also a one. When you add up one and nine, you get one. It goes back to 10, which is one plus zero. Uh, is a JS and and if they have a BK2 um, that that would that's the second uh, a, a series that they're in and CLU is the third but I'll, I'll show you the chart as I talk first of all you have the AJS uh, and you find out how many AJs or S's they have and that equals the letter one and you see how many ones they have then if they have a BK2, if they, only, if they don't have any, you put zero. And then you look at CLU, which is three. It's the third letter of the alphabet, the 12th and the 21st, which all add up to three. And uh, you see if they have any DMs or Vs. So uh, that would be the fourth, the 13th, and the 22nd letter of our alphabet or if they have any E, N, or W, which is the 5th, 14th, and 23rd letter of our alphabet, or F, O, X, and that's the 6th, the 15th, or the 24th letter of our alphabet, or any G, P, Y, which is the 7th, 16th, or 25th letter of our alphabet, or H, Q, Z, which is the 8th, the 17th, and the 26th letter of our alphabet, or the IR, which is the, the ninth and the 18th letter of our alphabet. So if we took the name James Earl Lennox as an example, and that, that's a name that has a reasonable amount of uh, letters uh, in it, we start numerizing it. A J, as we went before, is a one. An A is a one, and an S is a, a one. Going back to that chart, A, J, S equals one. Uh, and then you, you find that it has four ones, so you put four next to the one. And it has no B, Ks, or Ts, you put zero next to the two. Now, we, uh, we, uh, we see if it has any C, L, or Us, and that would be how many threes it has. It has an L here for the name Earl, and an L for Lennox. So we know it has two threes. Then we look, does it have any DM or V? Uh, for uh, any any letters, and you, you check it out. Now, it has an M for James, so we put one four. You see the M right up here? That That's for James, right here. Uh, then we look for fives. It has one E, another E. Uh, it has an E and an N, all equaling five. One, two, three, four. Four, four uh, in the five column, which means it's an E and a W. Now, in the six column, we have the O and the X. Six and six, because that goes back to our chart here. F-O-X. And now, it doesn't have the... Uh, the other letters, but <laughs> it has the O and the X uh, out of the fox. Then we, uh, we, we look at the uh, eighth letter, no H, Q's, or Z's, so we, we again put zero next to the A right here. 
and it has one R, which is the ninth letter. So now, what does it all mean? They have very little, uh, you see the zero by the two? They have very little experience in partnerships. Uh, either a partner or a female would be a challenge to them because the number two equals partner or a female. And, and they, there could be an absence of a female in their life or a female could be a problem or they have, would have trouble getting along with a female. But uh, sometimes somebody can't work around a female, even if it's a female. Uh, so that would be a challenge. Now, they also have a challenge with number seven. What does seven represent? Learning, religion, spirituality, medical things, uh, medical, dental, or anything, beauty, beauty field, uh, you know, the uh, uh, hairdressing or any beauty products or, or services, uh, anything from a chiropractor to a hairdresser. Uh, and it, it's a, it's learning and having faith at the same time. So that gets into the spiritual and religious. Now, eight uh, challenge is a money challenge, a financial challenge. In other words, they would have trouble uh, earning enough money or dealing with property assets or legal matters would be a real challenge to them. Now, where do they have a lot of experience? Uh, if you look at the number one, AJRS, they have a four there, a lot of experience with independence, and, and one also represents a male, M-A-L-E, or a financial matter, so they ha uh, or their own freedom or independence. So one has several meanings. All these numbers have several meanings, and, and uh, one could be financial, it could be a male, they can work around males, or they can make money through males, uh, it also it, it has to do with independence and being on, <coughs> pardon me, being on one's own feet, standing on one's feet. Now, if we look at number three, they have a two in that column. Three represents young people, siblings, children, and friends. So they have a lot of experience in those areas. Now, in, in number five, they have a lot of experience. Five is Mercury, and it's a lot of change and travel and communication. So that's where they have a lot of experience. Now, with family and home situations, which is the number six, and responsibility, they have a, a fair amount of experience there. Now, like I said, the, the uh, two to seven and the eight uh, is deficiency. Uh, the nine means to let things go, finish things, complete things, and somewhat, sometimes it also has to do with dealing with the public. So I'm actually giving you my interpretations uh, when, I, when I did this all the time, full time and all the time, and uh, all kinds of people. This is the meanings that I attach to these various numbers. Now, I want you to notice that this is a 14-letter name, and, and the way you add it up, when you add up all these numbers, it should add as many numbers as the name has. It has 14 letters, and we added up 14 here. So that, that's how you can check that you got each one. But you see, even with a 14-letter name, you, you find three deficiencies, and you find two real strong uh, strengths, which is five and one, and uh, you, you find uh, three different deficiencies, something which is karmic that they came in this world to work out. Now, sometimes the two, uh, two of the deficiencies will work in the same, <laughs> at the same time. They could go into the medical field and try to earn money. That would be seven and eight. Or they can be a, a, a fairly religious, a spiritual life, and that would take care of the seven. And they can learn to work with a partner or a spouse or to, to deal with uh, other people in a cooperative manner, and that would be the two. But it's very interesting. And let me give you another rule. When you add up all the, all the uh, letters in a name and come up to a, 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 a number like 14, 
that is a, an ability which a person has that they don't even think they have, and it's a natural ability. This person has a natural ability to, to deal with the public and to be in front of people and to juggle their, their uh, activities. They have a, a natural coordination of activities. But you could do this with any name. You just uh, name, uh, this is the universal chart that I'm saying right here. And it's, it's the first place of the letter and the 10th place and the 19th place in our alphabet. And it all adds up to one if you reduce the numbers by addition, like 19 equals one and nine is 10 and one and zero is one. And, th and that's how we do it. And Fox is F is six, uh, zero is 15, one and five is six, and X is the 24th letter, two and four is six. So now you can tell where the person's strength lies and where the weakness is. And this is considered a, a karmic test.